So hi, today's tutorial I decided to teach you how to make a Depose animations to fit in Abo's character. So let's get started. So first thing you need, you see uh, this is the Abo's character. If I can show you basic Abo's character right here. But we are importing in Tebow's character. So we are going to the Epic Games. Take some time to open up. Go to the library and search, search Proto. And you here have a Proto, Proto characters. Add him to the project file that's why in this YouTube tutorial select the version and add to the project next thing you want to do is you want to open this thing up go to the mesh and now you see is the a t pose character I am importing in for quick uh, animation, T pose animation, and we'll be right back. So I'm now here importing the importing the mesh. So now you what you, what you wanna do is uh, select your UE mannequin. This is the this is the mannequin which the Unreal Engine basic mannequin, and you put import all. And by the way, I am putting this uh, putting this thing on the description so you can download it and follow the tutorial. So next thing you wanna do, you see it's animation, but still it's a pose. Next thing you wanna do is right click it, create and pose asset, and you and choose your UE mannequin. And, and click accept. Now he's created a new pose asset for you. you. You don't have to name it, just click somewhere else. Next thing you want to do is open the prototype character, retarget, select humanoid rig, and now it's asking to save. And you are appling. Already applied. Okay, applied. Sorry. Now you wanna go to the third person mannequin. Retargeting. Humanoid rig. And now you wanna modify bone. You are selecting the bone right here. Now you see we have a new T pose mannequin pose. You select it, import it, and voila, you have T-Pose mannequin now. After this, you have to use current. It won't work if you don't click it. And now he's, uni he's using the current pose of the mannequin. Save it. And now, go to your mannequin again, animations. And uh, just duplicate this one. You see now they are the same pose, but the leg is a little bit broken because its uh, scale is different, you know. But we can fix that. Now you need to go to the mannequin again. Mm, wrong one, sorry. Go to the, your T pose mannequin and you have to. I don't remember anymore. I just have it, wait. Oh, yeah, and you have to go to the skeleton tree, show retargeting options, and now see it's all animations here. Right click it, set it on skeleton, and only two of them set on animation. And now you're all good. 
And if we now retarget this, it, it should be no issues anymore, but still have issues. Okay, this is not a fix then. I know uh, it worked for me, but I don't know it worked for you. But uh, now we have to retarget. And now you see. Oh, yeah, it's. Oh, no, it's not working. Oh, no, it's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the fix. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. It's on the preview. Sorry. So it's worked now. It's working. Now we have to go to the blueprint, go to your viewport, select your mesh, switch your um, character, choose the right uh, animation, it's the same name, but still. <laughs> and now you see you have a, a running running mannequin new new uh, but you see they have some yeah and you see you just have to like bring it down you know and you are good you know maybe one more okay so inside the thing now just change the position and you are you are good to go and that's how you retarget Tipo, uh, Abo's animations to Tipo's character. Thanks for watching.